That's no moon. Clear May 27. We are opening the magnetic field. Hello there, and welcome to Docking Bay 327. Before we get started today, I'm excited to announce that we are now on Patreon. Now, Patreon actually allows you to become a monthly member to gain access to exclusive content, early access to my YouTube videos, as well as behind the scene footage, digital downloads, and I'm even planning on doing a few live streams throughout the year on that platform. It's also a really great way to interact with you all one on one if you have specific questions or you know ideas for my some of my builds we'll be able to interact in that platform it also gives you guys a chance to support this channel and help me take it to the next level now this year 2022 I've got a ton of plans for this year and I'm super excited about room builds props all kinds of stuff I've already started designing a lot of it and um, just a, a really a lot of great stuff coming your way that of course I will film it all and share it with you on this channel so please consider becoming a patreon the link is in the description below go over there and take a look and hopefully I'll see you over there now for today we're gonna dive back into After Effects and I'm gonna show you how I made a targeting computer animation from A New Hope Towards the end of the movie, Luke's flying in his X-Wing and uh, has to take out one of the TIE Fighters to save his buddy Biggs. So, it's about a four second shot. It took me about four or five days, several hours each day, um, to recreate it. It's fairly simple, but it did require a lot of, you know, tweaking things and really, you know, adjusting it to get it just right. And so now I have an awesome animation, a targeting animation that I have displayed in my room over here in one of my props. So I kind of walk you through it step by step. Let's get into it. We start out in After Effects with a screenshot from Star Wars A New Hope. It's Luke's X-Wing targeting computer where he takes out a TIE fighter before he begins his trench run. I love the red and white icons too. The one in the upper right looks like a Mandalorian helmet, don't you think? As with all the graphics from this first movie, they are very primitive shapes and simple motion. I would assume because they had to create them by hand since they didn't have computers back then. Anyway, I start by making the HUD graphics. First are the triangles on all four sides. I line them up to match the screenshot. I create the top triangle first, then duplicate it, flip it, and move it to the bottom since they match. Next is the right triangle which isn't as wide, so I adjust the width and move it into place. I duplicate that one and flip it around for the left side. Finally, a basic oval shape is put in the middle. Next is the TIE Fighter. I draw a circle and then add the wing shapes using the pen tool. You can adjust the vertices individually so that the wing has the correct angle. I then duplicate the right side, flip, and move over for the left wing. I adjust the height and angle to match up and we have all the basic shapes we need. I move the TIE Fighter so the center point is aligned properly for animating.
some final adjustments to align everything, and we're ready to start animating. Now to create this four second animation, I had to watch the scene about a few dozen times just to get the feel for it. Um, you know, so I would adjust the animation, I'd go watch the video, then I'd adjust the animation some more until I finally got it to where I needed it to be. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have tried to record that scene from the movie and put it into the After Effects timeline just as a guide, and I could have probably followed it a lot easier that way, but oh well. Let's get to animating. I start by creating a motion path using the pen tool. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can go back and adjust each point once we have attached the TIE Fighter to the path. Let's watch this next bit as I walk you through step by step while I worked. Alright, so now that we have our path, we're going down in here to, to the actual path itself. We're going to copy it, control C, and then we're going to go up here and we're going to grab the TIE Fighter. We're going to hit key P for position, and then we're going to paste and basically what that's done is it's created some keyframes from the path that I drew. All right, so now we just hide that and we can see here that it's moving very similarly to what I want it to do. So. Okay, so I've adjusted the the keyframes just a little bit, which is kind of cool. You just kind of grab these busier curves and adjust it however you need to. This one down here, kind of stretch it out a little because we want kind of have to go over here and down and up. Once I'm happy with the animation, I then create a new composition with all the layers, or what's called a pre-comp. I can then turn this pre-comp into a 3D layer so I can rotate the entire thing to match up with the perspective in the movie. I also add a motion blur to the TIE Fighter. Now at the end of the animation, the HUD graphics all turn yellow as the targeting locks onto the TIE Fighter. It also does a quick fade which is a cool added effect. I mimic this by using a transition effect and animate that transition during the last few frames. And here's the final result. I'll play it a couple of times for you since it goes by so quickly. So there you go. Luke's targeting computer in his X-Wing as he gets ready to take out a TIE Fighter. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'm going to make the animation actually available on Patreon in the Jedi Master level. So if you're interested in downloading that for yourself and putting it in your display or your room or whatever, um, go on over to Patreon. Again, the link is in the description below. I also have footage from where I literally walk you through. I'm, I'm kind of narrating as I'm working in After Effects it's a couple hours worth of video and it's more of like a class tutorial kind of thing. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I can put it into the Patreon. That way you could go there and watch it, follow along. I do provide quite a few like tips and tricks. There's a lot of shortcut keys that I know from using After Effects for years that might help you. Um, to create your own animations in the future. Thank you again for all your support. And until next time, build with what you know and figure out the rest. <laughs>